Just about two years ago, Wahoo announced the acquisition of Speedplay Pedals. And since then, there's been quite a lot of speculation as to what exactly Wahoo had acquired the pedal brand for. It was clear they'd never planned just to kill it off. And in the time since then, uh, Wahoo had continued offering Speedplay Pedals with the Nanogram, the Aero, the Stainless Steel Zero. Speculation was sort of rife as to what was coming next and the logical conclusion was that Wahoo must have been looking to get into the outdoor power meter market to complement their indoor trainers of course and their indoor bike and that it would be in the shape of an power meter pedal. This week Wahoo has finally announced its new Speedplay pedal range and yes as you guessed it it includes a power meter pedal. The Wahoo Speedplay Powerlink Zero, uh, should have called it Power Play, I think, but anyway. Uh, the Powerlink Zero, uh, unfortunately, isn't available until the summer, and we haven't got very much information, other than it will have a stainless steel spindle, it'll weigh 276 grams, and it will have a pod very similar to the Favero Asiomo pedals, power meter pedals that uh, have been quite popular the last couple of years. So yeah, plenty to look forward to there. Now, the other big news this week is the refinements to the Wahoo Speedplay range that uh, Wahoo designers have made in those two years since acquiring Speedplay pedals. Wahoo have decided to go with four pedals in addition to the Powerlink Zero. Namely, they are the Wahoo Speedplay Nano, with a titanium spindle and a carbon composite body, not to be confused with the old Wahoo or the Wah old Speedplay nanograms, which were yes, yeah, super crazy light and literally just for race day. I've only used these ones a couple of times, but the wear rate on them is phenomenal. These new uh, Wahoo Speedplay nanos are very much like the old titaniums. They've got a carbon composite body, titanium spindle. They do have a rider weight limit of 82 kilos, 180 pounds, so something to be aware of if you're considering these. They have also announced the Speedplay Zero, and that is a stainless spindle with a um, standard pedal body. And they have also announced the up an update to the Speedplay Aero. This is not the updated version here, this is the old one but the underside of it is still very similar with the dimpled dimples there to improve aerodynamics apparently. And lastly, they have uh, announced a more budget-friendly Speedplay, Wahoo Speedplay Comp, uh, and that's the one with the chromoly spindle. So, as you might have seen there, the big difference on the from the old pedals to the new ones is this protective ring. So the old pedal design had the bow ties uh, in the center of the pedal body there. Wahoo has now moved to having a protective ring all the way around the pedal body on both sides. And that's directly in response to some of the sort of complaints that Speedplay users had in the past of the pedal body wearing quite a bit. And when it did wear, it then started to give you a bit of lateral movement in the, in the, in the cleats that yeah, could lead to knee problems. Just wasn't generally very nice. So this new protective ring apparently will increase durability quite significantly. The other major refinement to the new pedal range is not quite so noticeable as the protective ring. It's within the pedal body um, and that is the bearings and specifically the needle bearings which Wahoo have upgraded to have seals on both sides. Now previously Speedplay pedals had no seals on their needle bearings and there was a requirement to grease them quite regularly to keep them, yeah, keep them turning basically. Uh, now Wahoo are so confident of this new bearing design with the seals that they have completely removed that grease port on the side. So if you look at the old ones on top, the new ones on the bottom, the grease port is gone and that to me is yeah it's not great news i quite enjoyed getting out the speed play grease gone and giving the pedals a grease to keep them running and as a result i had never really had an issue with bearing wearing on bearing wearing i'm a poet and i don't know what i never really had an issue with uh, the bearings going on my speed play pedals 
in over a decade of using them. I think maybe I had one pair that went that way. So yeah, only time will tell if the new bearings are, are as, as durable as Wahoo are claiming. And hopefully I don't end up with pedals that are less durable than the old system, which I greased quite regularly. Uh, the only other major change that was announced this week is to the cleats. So previously the version 2 or the walkable or the aero cleats, depending on what name you gave them, were only available with a yellow cover. They are now only available with a black cover. Uh, and yeah, that just I think it just sits a bit better with uh, most carbon soles, which tend to be black also, and it's just a much sleeker looking design. So yeah, gone is the yellow and is the black. And all our color news, and not so good, good color news, the color options on Speedplay pedals is a thing of the past. Here I have a green and a yellow pair. You could also get red, black, blue, white, pink at one stage. Yeah, quite a few colors used to be on offer from Speedplay, but alas, no more. Wahoo will only offer Speedplay pedals in black with this protective ring in silver. So yeah, basically black and silver and Chip did say in the podcast that there could from time to time be limited edition team colors and, and the likes, but mostly it's just going to be that black color that is available. And other sad news for Speedplay fans of the X series, the Frog and the Scissor pedals platforms. Those platforms have now been discontinued. They will not be making a return onto the Wahoo name. Um, but Chip Hawkins did confirm that Wahoo are working on an off-road pedal platform. It's probably about two or three years down the line. It's not going to happen in the immediate future. But yeah, sad news. The Scissor, the Frog and the X-Series have been discontinued. Although Wahoo will honour any current warranties on those pedal platforms for so long as stocks last. So the only other thing to comment on with the new Speedplay range is the packaging. Yeah, so it's very much in line with what you expect from Wahoo. Uh, although the Speedplay brand does look to have taken a bit of a backseat, and that's hardly surprising. I think the way we should be thinking about these pedals and the Wahoo range is much the same as we have the Wahoo Kicker, the Wahoo Kicker Core, and the Wahoo Kicker Snap. We have the Wahoo Element, Wahoo Element Bolt, and the Wahoo Element Roam. Now we have the Wahoo Speedplay Zero, the Wahoo Speedplay Nano, and so on. So the yeah, Speedplay name taking a bit of a backseat there. So are you a Speedplay user? What do you make of the refinements that Wahoo have announced this week? Anything in there that you'd been hoping for? Anything that you didn't see that you had been hoping Wahoo might change to the Speedplay pedal f- platform? Let us know in the comments section below. Maybe you're not a Speedplay fan, maybe you've tried them in the past and didn't like them. Anything you've seen here today that would help you make the switch to Speedplay pedals, again, let us know in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the like button. This is my first Cycling Tips YouTube channel video, so please hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, of course, hit subscribe as well to keep up to date with all of our YouTube videos as they come out. In the meantime... Don't forget to check out the Wahoo Speedplay Special Edition podcast recorded this week where we go on a deep dive with Chip Hawkins of Wahoo and Ian Boswell for much more information on the new Wahoo Speedplay range.